Um, we are actually heading down to IGA right now because of the fact that well, it's going to be pretty boring this week because the, ser because the uh, service station is staying in two minutes. Because we are here down at the south end of Russell Island and we will be. Okay, Island is it's our next day here um, on Russell Island and yeah, I'm just heading down to the IGA right about now. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be all good. <laughs> Still got the window down, just cracked down a little bit. But yeah, it's a... That's closed off. They're still working on that at the moment. So the service station is uh, partly closed um, due to construction. So that'll be quite bizarre. I think you all just know what I mean by that. And um, here we are, we're here at the precinct. The shopping precinct, Islanders. Talk to you all uh, a little later. Okay, Islanders, it's much later on now. I think it's been about ooh, two, five minutes or so since, uh, since I stopped. And, um, and I'm back again for more Island Life content for you. And we're down here at Jock Kennedy Park. Just, just reveal to you at least some content around here. Tides in pretty significantly too. Yeah, it's like well in. Yeah, the tide seems to be in right now, Islanders, as you can all see with the uh, everything really. Hmm, looking really good. The water. I'm not sure if you Islanders know this, but there's little ants crawling on the uh, on the outside of the of the window. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> <All right. coughs> so that's the boat ramp right there. And there's Jock Kennedy Park, Islanders, right there. Looking like a really lovely place. Oh yeah, that'll be nice and cool. Mm. Let me see if I feel it. Sort of, yeah. I think I'm sort of getting it. <laughs> uh. Yes, it's really nice to just be in a nice air-conditioned vehicle island. I think it's obviously the best feeling that you could ever easily receive. <laughs> I think better than keeping cool in the summertime islanders. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, Islanders, in August we had a house burned down enough, just a kilometre away, and look at this. Now, 
and now obviously just a few days ago this house burnt down too livelihoods shattered yep that's right everyone livelihoods torn to shreds because of this I don't normally do these sort of things on and, and 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 look the council bins too they're in even worse shape too one of the bins is like totally totally destroyed and the recycle bins like part melted and the, the the um and the garbage bin beside that one with the red lid is like totally melted I have no idea what the source of this fire was, but if it was an arsonist, I hope that they catch them. Yeah. Because seeing this sort of stuff is like seeing livelihoods totally shattered. Livelihoods torn to shreds because of activities like this. And even, there's even a, and look at that island, there's a bush stone curly, we can keep going. And look at that. Bush stone curlews there too, just to pick up what's left of this burnt down property. We can keep going now. Yeah, so that just that just breaks my heart to see livelihoods torn to shreds by properties being burnt down, set fire to, whatever it is. We, we had another house, we obviously had another fire on Russell Island in August. Oh no. Alright, uh, so we are cruising down along the south end of Russell Island. Ah, uh, this is nice air conditioning. <laughs> the air conditioning actually works, Islanders. Uh, so, like I was saying, we're heading down here and you see that there? That is a windmill. Very nice to see that. Okay. We're continuing cruising down Russell Island all the way down to the south. So South Russell Island, this is what we can call this area here, the south. Um, yeah, there's, there's a north and a south, and I'm at the north. Uh, I live in the north, this is the south of Russell right here, this is the south end. We've got commercial and residential up in the north. And residential in the south. to a gay terrace. In fact, there it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll go left to gay terrace. Because gay terrace is on left, on right is Hemp Hill Road. So this is gay terrace right over here. So, yeah, so we'll continue down here, Islanders, and um, I'm going to be able to use some a little bit of a uh, little bit of this area here, you know, for a difference instead. Yeah, we'll turn on to turn over here to this drive over here. <laughs> Dead end, yeah. Well, um, let's back out and. Uh, and then we'll turn right at the next street because I know that that next street is definitely not a dead end unlike this one. <laughs> Alright Islanders, now we are... <clears throat> yep, now we're definitely going in the right direction here. Definitely this street here because this street definitely isn't a dead end. <laughs> you 
know, for, for certain dead end, for, um, some of the dead end streets, they actually do have like no through road, but for others. Oh, yep. I know a guy that lives here. He's in the Northern Territory at the moment. Yeah, we actually just went past somebody's uh, vacant land there. They are obviously in Northern Territory, so I'm not going to be seeing them till next year. So by the time they come back here, I'll still be here for probably a little bit. <laughs> So it's possible that anyone that we see on the island we will meet again. Um, yeah, I'll see how many more, how much longer I have left on here. Okay, so yeah, we can just keep going down to the end of the road. <laughs> and then yeah, we'll just uh, make a left turn afterwards. Anyways, we're at the end of the episode now, so thanks for watching this episode of Russell Island Adventures on Island Life. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will talk with you Islanders tomorrow after I open mic. Bye! Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.